so I'm your errand boy now. Me, I mean, we all Makoto, what, we protagonist? Just, we just left? We, what? Sadness, where's the body? <laughs> who's the body? You need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. He's the luchador. Oh, those are Kyoko's boots. Uh, and the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. If... The what do you mean? is a total mystery. No, it's not! Just take off the mask! Are you serious? One thing I do know. No, don't do this. So whoever this is, they attacked me last night. So why? What if he was having oh, a hallucination? How did they wind up dead in here? You're just not gonna take it. What? Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that that's there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get someone. How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. <gasps> How could you tell? Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of her body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be... No, nah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's a bait and switch. It's a bait and switch. <laughs> okay then, let's just tear the mask clean off. Wait, don't. Why? Why By would you not take it off? Out, it was already too late. This isn't like some investigation on the outside where you. It don't was too late. Hey. You just want to take it off. Good job, Toko. You did something well, good. Then shout out for the mask. In the next instant, is it gonna be Kyoko or is it gonna be? Oh, it's um, a bomb! There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. Blew up, I 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 blew up. That it did. My vision started to darken. I peppered to pass out. Then, I got slapped. Hurry up, put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Is the big Someone plant pressed on fire something now? onto my hands. It was a bucket of water. Douse the flames, douse them. Come on, douse the water on it. <laughs> that fire is literally like two JPEGs just flickering in and out. Yep. Oh, okay. Upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Sorry for anyone who has like epilepsy or something. This is freaking giving me a seizure. <laughs> All right, at the start of the episode, uh, seizure warning time. Yeah, Jesus. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. Well, that's. Not disturbing. I guess that took care of it. What, what the hell, man? It exploded? I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... Uh, it's burnt to a crisp, that's what I was going to say. Beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. It's the extra crispy kernel. <laughs> the extra crispy kernel steak. But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we going to find out who it was? Who isn't here right now? Huh? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow it down who it must be. There's only one person missing. It's Kyoko. Kyoko? Kyoko? 
than that dead body. <laughs> it's Kyoko? Nah, I don't believe it. No, that can't be right. I don't believe it. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. But, I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. Talking about the mastermind or 16th student? Mastermind. Okay. The mastermind. What? The mastermind? Come on, there's no way the mastermind got charboiled. Get serious. I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? I guess so. Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But the Krampus is a girl. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this. According to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. Seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. Said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously isn't. And could that mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl that Kyoko told me about? The one that he also has not spoken to the other ones about yet? He's just gonna blurt yes. that out? Mm -hmm. Yep. Good, good job, Makoto. Oh! Huh? Makuro Ikusaba. 16th student at Hub's Peak. What are you talking about? He, I, I guess he's just telling them, okay. The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, well all Kyoko told me was... I love you. I love you. Kuro <laughs> Ikusaba. A 16th student lying hidden somewhere in the school. One they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mikuru Ikusaba is the mastermind. <clears throat> no, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. There's another student here, and it's a female. That would match the body's characteristics. And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Mukuro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot, how'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? None of this makes any sense to just suddenly show up and then die. I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. Let's call in Kyoko, who's really good at that then. <laughs> there may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Like the boots. I do think they are Kyoko. Uh, hey, wait. What? Aren't we forgetting something? You know, Kyoko? Oh, yeah, she totally got blown up, didn't she? Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. No, I'm sure she's... Yeah. Uh... Oh, she survived! Oh, she survived. <laughs> yep. <gasps> what just happened? May I ask her? You declared for the whole world to hear you that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oh, and I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you inhale. That's enough for me to live. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. Uh, that, wait, I wanted to, no. Oh. Right now, I have to focus on the body. Okay. I should take a close look at the body one more time. That's exactly why we, we clicked on the body. That's why we clicked on it, yeah. Why, well, Joseph Makoto, she may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan, plan on touching the body all that much. Not Kyoko, after all. Because that's Kyoko. <laughs> I think I know who it is. 
But... Uh, why would she be alive is my question. Inca. Yeah. There's something next to the body. It's... He? Okay. Kinda. Hey, whoa, wait a minute. Mm. Hit me. What's your brain cooking? Nope. That would be all okay. It's black and red. And yeah, I'm just, I I we might be on the same train of thought. I just don't know how said person what would if, have been what if, what dead if, and then undead and then dead again. But what if it was never so, dead? The body was just true. gone. What if it was just the body? It was laying there as a trap. True. I wanted you steal. I stole this. A key. Well, look at it. Would have been a shame. Oh, cool. But not important. But it's important. That's right. The key she stole was shaped like Mon Kuma. I think you're. I think you're right. It's more likely that they were dead and well, they just used the body. It's even like the exact same position. Her body was in when she died. This isn't anything so like again. that. And this key is a lab door key. What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? It's the key to a heart, but you don't even know. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Find out uh, where this key goes. Oh no, however will I do that? Eh, pretty much exactly what I said. The key might give you access to yeah. certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. Dorm rooms? And the what? hatch. <gasps> the hat! It's in your hands. Yes, the it's key in is your hands. in our hands. It's in your hands. You're very observant. So I'm your errand boy now. Me, I mean, we always Makoto, have what, we protagonist? Just, we just left? We, what? Hey, time okay. to go watch Rans. I guess we're gonna be errand boy. Yay, just gonna cut to where it actually works, because I don't want to freaking walk around figuring this out. Don't go there. Habaloobaloo, transition! Woo! Just no, 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 just go to the... It's clearly for the hatch. <laughs> the hatch, don't even get my home so... It's literally, uh, how much... Oh. Like... Okay. All right. I was gonna say how much you want to bet it is on the bottom floor somewhere, and the game's just gonna make us run. <laughs> and this is the key to the data center. I'd manage to unlock the data center. It's data, all that data, whatever. Around. Tomato, Data, tomato. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately headed back to the garden. Yay! Teleport. So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. The data center key. Data center down on the fourth floor. Yeah. Then we can get into the data center now? Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? I suppose I we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. Here we are. I think the door is still unlocked. Hey, so when you open that door, there's not gonna be another huge kaboom like before, right? You're asking that question now. Don't worry, we have Makoto. Yeah, that checks the out. Ultimate lucky student. It's in your hands. Again? It means I trust you. I don't believe that for a second. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being <laughs> used. Yep. Let's go. Don't want to talk to people. Just want to go in. I reached out and put my hand on the door. 
And nothing I, happened! And then I closed my eyes and I tried to clear my mind, but I kept seeing the masked man, and then I, I screamed out loud, and <laughs> everyone stared at me, and it was really awkward. And then with a slide... And then I opened prayer, the door. I opened the door. Because... Nothing happened. Nothing happened, yeah. After I made sure I was still alive, I opened my eyes just slightly slower than I opened the door. Oh, and it's the place. Oh, crazy. And uh, where the room it. was. Strange. There's a Monokuma door. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. Man, Makoto, you are great with your words. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind Lord? of dread. Hey, that's... Fear extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all hey, it's a map of the world. The Look at what they're showing. Can we see Kyoko in one of them? Each monitor Am is played hear... in a different section of the school. Are you hearing this too, or is it just me? Still like the crickets and stuff? Yeah. Just... Uh, uh, uh. Show them to the classrooms. Every part of the school was covered. Yeah. Th this is... It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. Why are you guys all so shocked about this? All the cameras in the school feed back into this room. And they're displayed here on these monitors. Uh huh. Thanks for telling me that. So the Not sole like purpose of this room anymore. is to watch us. Uh huh. D to watch us? Then this room is. The Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. Well, I think the room behind it might be. The Mastermind's room? Yes, that makes sense. So the Mastermind was here. Watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. Huh? The body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. Hmm. Huh? Here's the thing, I don't know if they're actually dead. I, which is weird to say, but... I don't think they're gone. That was the body no. of Mukuro Ikusaba. And she was the mastermind. No, no, it wasn't that. No. Nope. Mm -mm. nope. And the mastermind is dead? Like, really dead? Mmm, I don't think that's true either. It would seem so. F for serious? I mean, <laughs> it feels. I f kind of feel stupid now when you think about it, but I mean, her character design also includes something that is specific to her. And also is very apparent with the mastermind. That is, it's just like <sighs> <laughs> you, you think you think we would put that together, but it's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill them himself. The mastermind is dead. Would that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? I don't I guess, think so. I Kyoko's mean... still missing. That body. Oh, that, that body. Bo that body, though. Go look at that body. Let's <laughs> move your powder. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was it? That. Who was that? It. But, but if the mastermind really is dead, that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. We gotta hurry and find the exit. Come on, man! I can't do his voice anymore. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. That's not the A button. Huh? What about the exit? If the mastermind truly is dead, 
We can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the Mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. I agree. And I'm bothered by the fact that the Mastermind was obviously murdered. Murdered? So you, so think, you so think so too, huh? Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> The state of the corpse make it, makes it plain as day. There is absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. Why has it got to be that way? I mean, who could have even done that? That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. Now, do you understand your useless dick to be able for talking to the master ever again? The master my purpose. And why they were killed? This room may very well hold the answers to those questions. Uh -huh. After all, the mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. I am really curious, though, to know when Makuro Ikusaba is actually going to show up. Why was the Mastermind murdered? To figure that out, we need to find out the identity and purpose of the Mastermind. You literally said that two seconds ago. I thought I was getting new information out of you. Jeez, I can't Ooh. believe how many monitors there are. My eyes flickering. Oh, you guys are not important to talk to. I understand now. There's nothing showing up on this one. Because it's a feckin' DVD player, dipshit. Hey, hey look, that's the TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? What kind of fucking antenna is that? It is, it's just like the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high-def antennas. Wait, so if I hook up that antenna so we can watch TV? <gasps> Did somebody say TV? Well, well, Saturday morning Hina's here. Are you talking <laughs> about me? Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're all starred for info from the outside world, huh? Alright, let me work my magic and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? Oh, oh. Can I click on it? Or is it just a dot? Nah. Bad time. Gotta make sure Space Earth is good. Yes. Space Earth. Good Space Earth. All Everybody the green monitors. The Oh, they're computers. green. Those aren't computers. Those are monitors. Dumb shit. Monitors with small keyboards. Yep. Attached. Yeah. They all look uh -huh. like high-performance PCs. Nothing like that ancient laptop alter ego. I mean, I know that they're not attached, but they really look like they're attached. <laughs> yep. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So what? We can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. What century are you from? The mastermind must have been using these monitors to work the network and alter ego or something. I read that really fast. You may well be right about that. But there's no point in thinking about it now. Alright. Can I open the door? Door, Monokuma? It's kind of creepy. It's Monoku got a door? Picture of Monokuma on it. It's the Monokuma storage room. Wow! Inside. Riddle rattle, no lock. The door's locked, huh? What if you use that key that opened this room? Give it a try, just in case. Rattle rattle. Oh, no good, it won't even fit in the keyhole. Hey, what about that one key? Oh, we gave it to Kyoko, didn't we? Yep. Look. Never mind. <laughs> well, don't worry about it, everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So there's nothing gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. And stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. That damn smile. What that, started this? <laughs> that half smile, open mouth. So much fear. But worrying about it isn't going to do me any good. He was right, the mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. And I have like... In my attempt at trying to do any possible voice acting this episode has just like died <laughs> inside me. <laughs> just so you think you can fix TV? Good. Just a little longer. You really watched that bad. Another Saturday morning kid here. He aged cartoons and stuff or something, probably. 
Hurry up and find something for Master. Okay. You gonna look at the map? There's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. Beep boop beep bop boop bop 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 bop. And the mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. As long as I have this. Huh? Look at Master Go, it's like a feast for the eyes. How much is it? it? What is she talking about? Oh, the. I see, she can spy on him. I got it. I got it. Got it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what's wrong? Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. <gasps> really? Now all we gotta do is switch it on. It's a bomb. Then do it. Ooh. <laughs> eh, do it. Freaking idiot mastermind. All oh, you guys need to cut free from the guys of the outside world. They were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it. Oh, wow. Wow, Inception. Huh? This is... It's the feed coming... Surveillance room monitoring this room? What? That's weird. Hey, what are you doing? That's really weird. You're weird. Weird in every possible way. You don't just be super weird. This TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. How's it showing the camera feed? Did you try changing the channel? Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. You went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just us. The live feed of us standing there in the data center. How spooky! What the heck? Is it broken or something? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Ooh, a trick? What kind of trick? Hmm, <laughs> I'm not sure, but... <gasps> hmm? Oh. What? What? <laughs> Spill out, you freaking bastards. There's my theme music. Oh, I love it. It's so good. M Monokuma! Ow, you're supposed to be dead. Gah, me dead? Don't be freaking stupid. Hey, you're actually kind of strange. Something seems different. Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Not even. It's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? It's almost like there's probably more than one of him. Oh yeah, it's them. Pew pew pew. Look at your face. It's blind. That's what I wanted to see the moment you went from hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretended to be dead. All for this moment. Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who would pretend to be dead when you see a bear. Yeah. That's totally laughable. Ha ha ha. You make me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. <laughs> and that's dead. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and get into power to the future. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. You can't be serious. We have to keep going. No, we were supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How dare you not get it. There is no getting out of here. Besides, this life isn't all bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. It's the worst? Does that mean you're in despair? <laughs> uh, I'm pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll go just get to the point now. Uh, the point? It has really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed, that TV is an essential part of your school life here. I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. But I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? Pew, 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 pew. Look at how attentive they are now. Well, then I'm going to let you in on a blood-gushing secret to tell you about it. That TV is absolutely without a doubt displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> it means I burp. Excuse me. It's displaying the signal, but it's just us standing here. Oh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. Yep. I'm not surprised. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. 
most popular thing on TV. Uh, Doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. Well, what? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? <laughs> over the airwaves to you. Camera feed is being broadcast? No way that's impossible. It kind of overcompensates his major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that. I needed one weird trick that I found in hijacking the airwave is easy mode. You being serious right now? Of course. I heard a kind of creaking. Okay, well, I thought, I mean, I thought that it was being broadcast, but I also thought that the world outside was dead. I was right about one of them. <laughs> the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and grow. Just DSL sounds again. <laughs> Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you here right now, why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for Captain Waters to show them true despair like they'd never seen before. Became the director of a despair based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best despair entertainment. You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. What if I, they already did? Huh? But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. But to take control of all communications like that, you'd need an astronomical amount of resources. Yep, so how could things have come this far? Well, that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? Uh, what? Yeah, duh, there's the little business of a ding dong, a bang bong. Uh, no, ding no, dong, bing bing bong. bong. Ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong, bing bong. No bongs, ding no bing bongs. Into the next episode how did what was that song? i forgot the song already i'm sorry i hit the button i did too button's been slapped that button slap that like button guys do it yeah give it a little tickle <laughs> tickle that like button oh my gosh tickle the like button if you don't we'll be sad